Hi, I'm Richard Bug. I'm the founder of the Neil Simon Festival up in Cedar City. Uh, we're in our 12th season now, and a couple of years ago we produced uh, a show called Driving Miss Daisy. It's a Pulitzer Prize winner, a, a wonderful, a moving, funny, uh, heartwarming piece. And uh, it was so successful we decided to take it on tour. And so we've been traveling around with it a little bit, and uh, this week we are at Dixie State University in the Eccles Theater on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. And uh, it, it stars Clarence Gilliard. You might remember him from Walker, Texas Ranger, or Matlock, or movies like Die Hard. Uh, there are many, many films that he's been in. Uh, a face you would recognize, if not the name. Uh, and co-starring with him is my good friend Jan Broberg, who plays Miss Daisy, and you see her age from about uh, 72 to, to 95 uh, in, in an hour and a half on the stage. And then I play her son. My name is Clarence Gilliard, and I play Hulk Colburn in uh, Mr. Yearly's Driving Miss Daisy. And I appreciate all of you who see this, who are going to come and see us do this wonderful play. I am associated with the Neil Simon Festival because Rick Bug has become a very good friend of mine and when he came up with this play to do, I jumped at the opportunity. This is a Pulitzer Prize winning story about an African American gentleman that lives from 1948 to probably the millennium and uh, the Jewish woman that he chauffeurs around for most of uh, the second part of her life. I'm Jan Broberg and I am here at Dixie State University doing a production of Driving Miss Daisy which we are touring. Uh, it's a wonderful show and I hope that uh, we have a lot of people come out and see it. I uh, used to live here in St. George in this area and worked here in a lot of the theater circles around town and love this whole area. I have a home down in Santa Clara, Utah, and uh, got flooded. <laughs> so I've been through the I've been through the ringer. I, I, I definitely know a little bit about living in Southern Utah. Miss Daisy, I must say, is one of those roles that I have so enjoyed getting to know her because every single one of us has a little bit of Miss Daisy in us. She's a very proud woman, little Southern Jewish woman who grew up very independent, doing for herself. She does not want someone to drive her. And I think we're all a little independent. So I think Miss Daisy is someone I relate to because as the play moves on and she develops this friendship with a very unlikely person because in 1948, a little Southern Jewish woman and a black man, probably not so many friendships, they develop a very tight friendship and a very sweet story unfolds between the two of them. And so I think getting to know Miss Daisy has been a great opportunity for me to examine my own life and where I might be prejudiced in ways that I don't even realize it. And it's just a beautiful story. It's hilarious. It's very funny. And remember why it's so timeless. <laughs> friendship, prejudice, um, how we develop and grow as people. Um, it really examines our relationships. I play uh, Bully, uh, Daisy's son, and Bully is, um, uh, is a man with a conscience, but a businessman trying to fit in uh, during the, uh, the 40s and 50s and 60s uh, in a, the Atlanta business, cu business culture, uh, which uh, isn't easy when you, uh, when you, wa you want to support uh, civil rights. Uh, and so he has uh, a struggle with his conscience and uh, uh, a struggle in trying to uh, maintain that relationship with Hoke, whom he, he loves dearly, and his mother. Uh, please come and see us. It's a, it's a show that, uh, that you will never regret watching.